Hi there, and uh, welcome there to the Arbery at home. This week uh, we've got the main course. So, uh, what have we got? Hello, Norman here. Uh, but you were expecting I heard a word you. Where is noise me? Hey, well, we've got. Oh, we've got chicken and mushroom and bacon. Pie. Pie, lover daddy. Love a pie, daddy. Bring me one home, won't you, lovely? All with carrots. Love a carrot. Roasted carrot and puree carrot and stuff. Mushy carrot, lovely. And some balsamic onions. Love them. Can't eat them, though. Not good for dogs. Bye. Well, <laughs> that was a little bit interesting. Wasn't quite expecting Norman to turn up. Anyway, so as we carry on, so. Uh, as Norman said, we have a, 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 a pie, well, a pativier, as I like to call it. So that's our pativier, uh, little pie. We have our roasted carrots. We have a, a little bit of carrot puree. Our balsamic onions. And our chicken sauce. So the first thing we're going to do... It's going to take our pativier. It's on a piece of greaseproof paper for you already, so you just lift it out of the box, pop it onto your tray, uh, your baking tray, and pop it in the oven 180 degrees. It'll take approximately 25 minutes uh, just till we get them nice and golden brown. Okay? I've already got one in the oven, so I'm not going to pop that in. So, what we're going to do now is get another little tray because I forgot that. So we've got our carrots, literally pop your carrots onto a little tray, again pop them in the oven, they're going to take 10 minutes in the oven. So what you could do, put the pie in, after 15 minutes, if you wanted to, take the carrots, put them on the same tray, uh, and then they all come out at the same time, or a little separate tray, but just remember they will take 10 minutes, pie is 25 minutes, and we're going to pop them in the oven. With the rest of the stuff, uh, ingredients, so again we've got a carrot puree, we're going uh, to pop it in a little saucepan, you could microwave it if you liked, wouldn't be a major problem, so we're just going to pop that in the saucepan, like so, and then we're going to start warming them all through, okay, so again the same with the, bals the balsamic onions, so we just put them into the saucepan, start warming them and the same with the sauce just pop that into the saucepan like so and then we get them and we're just going to start warming them through okay <coughs> Right, now, with the onions, if you think they're a little bit too thick, you can add just a little drop of water, just to help them, because we don't want to burn anything. There we go, turn it down. Just warm and they're molten. Easy peasy. Right. If I go to the oven, as if by magic. We have our uh, cooked pie that I popped in there 25 minutes ago. So that's ready to go. We're going to take the onions and the carrots off the stove now. Just let the sauce get warm. And then we're going to start. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our carrot puree. Just use your spoon. Pick a little bit out. And then what we're going to do is three nice little spoons. Just around the plate, like so. Lovely. Your carrots. So we just take the carrot and we pop them in the spaces between the carrot puree. 
let me take the onions okay I'm just going to pop them next to the carrots oh. a little bit of a mess and a little bit of the like so then we're going to take our uh, bativier or pie as Norman likes to call it just take it off the grease proof paper lift it up put it straight into the middle of the, the, the plate and then we take our sauce and all we're going to do is just in that little gap in between all your, ve uh, your vegetables just going to pour the sauce because I don't know anyone who doesn't like pie with gravy and there we go so unlike Norman we have uh, says we have our chicken bacon mushroom uh, pativier with the uh, roasted carrots and balsamic onions